Hello everyone, my name is Jean and today we are building another habitat or rather I actually built it beforehand and now I'm going to walk you through what I already did. So you might remember that last week I had the issue that for some unknown reason my recording just currently stopped and then I showed you what I did afterwards. So, and now, this time I had the same issue, but instead of just cutting half an hour, which would be like a few minutes in a speed build, it just stopped right after I hit record. And I finally was able to figure out what was wrong, so my hard drive didn't have any storage space left, and so they didn't record anything because there was no space to save it somewhere, so yeah. No speed build for this habitat because there is none. But I will walk you through what I already did. So this is the Emu Leopard overpass and then you are going to be greeted by a little um frame like a, a sign, a big a big entrance area and it should say Bear Valley. So bear with me, I'm going to build this after I talked you through everything I did before uh, now. So yeah, there should be some kind of entrance. And then you will be going down here and here is the sun bear habitat. And um, as you can see, you really can't see that much, that was on purpose, just so you had to go all the way down there to actually kind of try to see the animals. So now you get to the first viewing area. There are two at the moment, one here and one on, at the top right there, but I only made this one fully nice and ready because I am going to make the other one when I am going to be there like all the valley is going to be filled and then they should go over out of the valley and then they should be able to see again into the sun bear habitat and here I don't did this this one either because originally there was going to be a third view area here but it turns out maybe I need to have this um, connected to another habitat so there wouldn't be any viewing gallery so I just have to see what will happen here and that's why I didn't do anything with that in case I need to do then again something else here. So yeah, let's go into the habitat. I mean, we're just animals now so... <laughs> As you can see, I already did the same thing as I did with the Amy Leopard, so stones, a little bit of grass, and all these flowers from the con conservation pack everywhere, so I made these little waterfalls and then these little, um, what's it called, blossom tree, I think? Is it a blossom tree? Yes, it's a cherry blossom tree, so yeah, just as a little piece that you can look at that's kind of nice so yeah and here is the um, the area where, where the bears can go and not be seen by anybody and um, yeah and here's also where the keepers can go in <laughs> and when we go to the other side you can actually as a keeper you can walk here which was for me kind of important because otherwise the keepers can't go all here and can't make it um, clean so I thought this would have been an is issue so yeah then the bears can go either here go up here then don't know look at their habitat from here <laughs> and they can also go here so there's two ways up and then we are at the second viewing gallery, but as you can see, I didn't finish it just because I'm not quite sure how 
this will look in the end because I mean also here is going to be some other habitat in there and just to be sure that I don't have to make changes after I already finished this habitat I just left it unfinished so it would be easier to finish it then so yes so that's the second view in gallery and this is already everything I built so far and now because I just didn't want to leave you with the just me showing you this habitat I will make a few things in here I will make this bear valley entrance I will look at this part of the of the zoo where there is nothing essentially I will make this doesn't look so bad. Oh, and, and also this was because every time I deleted this water, I couldn't put it in there again. And I um, I wasn't able to fix it. I don't know why. And that's why I just did another <laughs> little piece of water. And we're just going to fill this in with some rocks or something like that. I'm not quite sure, but just so you know, that's the reason why there's land in between these two bodies of water. And then I will try to do all of this here. So when I am ready, or no, when when this episode is going to be finished, I would, or we would be able to go through the whole section as of now, and there wouldn't be any gap that I haven't filled. So yeah, enjoy the time lapse. And. Here we are in the time lapse, and the first thing I was um, going to build is the Bear Valley Gate. Although right now it must seem more like a temple area in entrance kind of thing, but as you can see, I scrapped that really quickly because it was just too big and it wasn't what I was going for. And yeah, so it just <laughs> got deleted, and now I'm. Um, beginning with a real bear valley entrance. <laughs> um, yeah, I also um, decided that I want to have some whaling and this whaling was not the most difficult thing, but I wanted to have these lanterns on top, but the lanterns were too short because I put the fence too high up, so I put another one upside down in there just so that it will look more like it's supposed to be there <laughs> and yeah after I did this uh, railing part I um, did the bear valley entrance sign so you know where you're walking into <laughs> not like what I just showed you where I just tried to kind of pronounce what I was going to say which was gate so <laughs> and after um, I did some work on the plants. I decided to make a little area for people to eat and drink something. So this is what I will, will be building after that. Um, but yeah, maybe let's talk a little bit more about the sun bears. Um, because I have seen some bears in real life in a zoo in... Um, oh, I don't know where it was actually. In, in, in a zoo. I saw them in, 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 in a zoo. I don't know which one. So, um, But what I know was um, that I previously didn't know um, about some bears before they came into, um, into Planet Zoo. I mean... There are actually a few animals I didn't know beforehand, so like the clouded leopard, I didn't know before Planet Zoo that this animal existed, and the Barbarossa, I think, was also one that I didn't know. Um, the Cassowary, I didn't know, so yeah, there were quite a few, but um, I was so excited after I saw that the sign for the habitat said Sun Bear. So actually it didn't say sun bear, it uh, said the German word, so... Uh, but I was wondering, so... This is a sun bear, right? I mean, 
It is, but it had a totally different name, even in German. So it's not like Sunbear translated to German. It said something completely different. And that was the moment where I just had to stop and think about it. But then I saw the actual animal. And by this point, I already saw um, the Sunbear in game. And so I knew what it looked like. And it looked so similar, like, because it was a Sunbear. But <laughs> I didn't know at this point. I was so confused and so unsure that I... <laughs> just needed to um, get my phone out and just google if this really is a sunbear but just the German word for it so <laughs> yeah and it was a sunbear and in fact on the other side of the sunbear habitat was a clouded leopard habitat and yeah that was also the first time I saw clouded leopards or at least I saw 10 seconds a clouded leopard because then he or she just uh, went somewhere else and I didn't see him or she again so yeah that's uh that's it I'm, I guess <laughs> um yeah and now actually we are tackling the entrance area for the Asia trail as I decided to name it you will see this later um and this was actually um inspired by a picture that I found on Pinterest. I will let you see the picture now <laughs> and um, yeah, I, I, it was fairly simple in design what I wanted to have so it was not that much of a hustle to build this. What was a little bit... Uh, it, it's, it was a little bit of a hustle to build anything at all because um and i obviously i didn't show this so because then we would sit here for a while because i got bankrupt <laughs> so the story is i had so many ani animals and all of them were ill especially the peafowls they were all ill and so i um, made a lot of as you saw probably, I made a lot of vet stations and I also made research stations just so I could research the illnesses. So, but ha what happened by that point was that I had closed the zoo, so um, I would have better performance on the one hand. I mean, it's not an issue right now, but just so in case it will be, I had closed the zoo, so I had no income, but I didn't pause the game. So I had a continuous, continuously, that's not the right word. Anyway, so I ran out of money because of that. And when I realized it was only because I couldn't build what I wanted to build, because I didn't have the money for it. And then I was kind of baffled because I thought, well, this money, this zoo is profitable, right? And then I looked and it was closed, so I opened it again and <laughs> then I just let it run for an even longer time just so I can get back to have, having money. So, yeah, and then I was able to build again and that's when I started recording again <laughs> because before all I did was just stay there. The camera just didn't move at all, so... <laughs> It would be really boring to let you see that. <laughs> um, yeah, and I already had a few problems with these... Um, I don't even know what they're called. I mean, in real life you could probably go up there um, and walk around there. But since it's Planet Zoo and I didn't put a pass up there, you or the guests can't. Um, but I don't know why, but the um, the first time I put a roof up there it was completely fine so it didn't the the um, the beams didn't stick out or something and then when I had made it so that they um, would go um, over Connor the the um, once again is this called I just said it the roof the roof didn't fit anymore so I needed to make separate groups and in the end I had to readjust the beams just so that the roofs would kind of make more sense and don't so that the beams don't 
stuck out so much. So I think this is a little bit of an issue right now, but for me personally, it's fine. So um, I'm just going to leave it like that for now. And also, this actually concludes the time lapse. I didn't do as much as I said before I did the time lapse. So um, yeah, that's it. But um, yeah, I mean, we are going to do all of this eventually, but not right now, because in the next episode, I want to do the next bear habitat. So yeah, I would say enjoy the last few seconds of the of the um, cinematic shots and I hope you like this video and we see each other in the next one. Bye!